Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm just going to show you some very quick watercolors for creating sort of backgrounds for watery environments. I'm using the July My Monthly Hero kit with some sea creatures in it to create a few cards and one little card set. So I thought I would just film the process of watercoloring the backgrounds. On this first panel, I've actually embossed the jellyfish image from the kit in clear embossing powder. And I'm using cold press watercolor paper. I'll link to this on my blog. And I'm starting out with just a cerulean blue watercolor. I'm using the Magello Mission Gold watercolors. And I knew before I started what colors I wanted to incorporate. And I'm basically working with sort of a modified primary set. So I have the Bright Opera Pink from Magello, which I absolutely love. I think this is, outside of blue, I think this is my favorite color ever. I have that very watered down at this point, but I'm going to intensify it later. And I have a cerulean blue, and I also have a nice bright lemon yellow. And I'm coming back with more intense colors after my initial wash. First with the opera pink, which you can see it looks really bright here, but in the finished card, it's going to be a lot more muted. I'm going to dab off some color and also add a little bit of water. And also just as it dries naturally, it's going to lighten up a little bit as it soaks into the paper. I'm adding peacock blue here just to add just a tiny bit of green. I also stamped the little bubble image in addition to the two jellies up near the top. It's such a crisp, fun, small image to add. And I'm adding a tiny bit of yellow. And I'm just dabbing this with one of the Medline washcloths that I like to use. I can reuse these a lot. I don't have to throw them away. And I like them. But as I was getting ready to paint the second background, I noticed that I didn't really like that lemon yellow color. So I added some watered down peacock blue to sort of turn it more into a green. It's a color that's already in this background. And I think it's just more harmonious. And you'll see as it dries, it becomes quite a bit lighter. Now I'm going back with several different blues for the second background. I just wanted to crank out four of these. This is 100% cotton paper. I'm spraying the back of it here to make it flatten out just a little bit. That's a great tip if you're working with watercolor paper that's warping a little bit. But the 100% cotton really makes a big difference because it will hold on to that water and stay wet and let you work with it for a long time. And I love that. Now I painted some stripes just to make it look sort of like filtered light was coming down into the water. And then I added a little bit of opera pink before finishing that one up. On the next one, I knew I wanted to use the turtles in the set, and so I wanted a more green palette for this one. So I'm using both green and then the green blue again from the peacock blue. And now I'm just spraying water into my hand and dropping it onto the background to give another watery effect. This is fun. Since the paper stays so wet, it continues to react. And I decide to go back and do that to the previous background as well. Sort of reminds me of a Leo Leone watercolor. I love him. He's a great children's book author that I loved when I was a child. Now for the last one, I'm starting with yellow and then adding some greens and some blues. And of course, going back to my beautiful opera pink just to give some variety. I don't like to stay with just analogous colors. I think it's, there's a little more interest if you don't. But that's what those backgrounds look like and you can see them here with my little turtles. 
with the jellyfish. And then no watercolor on some other images in the set that I thought looked like woodcuts and make a great card set just stamped in pure black and white. I think they're really super graphic and fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick watercolor video. Thanks so much for watching.